We're going to tell you 16 iOS 16 secrets. These are things Apple does not want you to know about the iPhone 14 Pro camera, lock screens, and more. But first, a new feature that will clear up a ton of storage space on your iPhone, and the secret way it will save you money. Open the Photos app, scroll down, and tap Duplicates. Here you'll see a list of photos your iPhone has identified as duplicates. You can tap Merge to get rid of duplicates. If an image is an exact duplicate, your iPhone will say Merge number of exact copies. If the images aren't identical, they could be a different file type or resolution, your iPhone will say Merge the number of items and then keep the highest quality version. Merging exact copies is a no-brainer. This next hidden feature will come in handy during the holidays. Is it a secret way to get out of wearing an ugly sweater? Unfortunately, it's not. You've been able Able to wirelessly share Wi-Fi passwords since iOS 11, but it's been unreliable at best and it's only worked between Apple devices. Your PC and Android friends have been totally out of luck. Now you can open settings, tap Wi-Fi, and tap the information button to the right of your Wi-Fi network. Tap on password, get your face ID in there, and you can quickly copy your password. Text it to your friend or just hand them your phone so they can type it in. Or if it's your dad, just take his phone and type it in yourself. It's a touching story. Speaking of touching. Hmm. Well, with iOS 16, you can now get a physical response when you type on the iPhone keyboard. It's almost like typing on a real computer keyboard. Almost. Go back to the main page of settings, scroll down and tap on sounds and haptics, scroll down and tap on keyboard feedback and turn on the switch next to haptic. Be warned, Apple says this might affect your iPhone battery. Which means your iPhone will die faster. And that is the secret. Much to the chagrin of politicians everywhere, iOS 16 now allows you to recover text messages that were deleted within 30 days. Open messages and tap the edit button in the upper left hand corner of the screen. Then tap show recently deleted and here you can see the messages that you can recover. Uh oh, there's another hidden feature here in the messages app. And it's the ability to edit or unsend messages. Bear in mind that the other person can see that the message has been edited and an entire history of the edits. This isn't like the memory erasers from Men in Black. How about one more secret while we're here in messages? I have a bad habit of reading a text message, not responding right away, and then totally forgetting to respond at all. Oh, and I thought you were ignoring me. Well, for you, it's different, but for the conversations you actually care about, you can swipe left to right on the conversation, and there you go, that blue dot will appear indicating the message is unread. Okay, well that's just about enough of the messages app for me. Let's get to another secret in iOS 16, it's one of our favorites. If you have an image of something prominent in the foreground, you can press and hold on that object and drag it around or copy and paste it. Open photos, let's press and hold in this picture of a cat and drag it to the left. Wow! That worked great. Apple calls it lifting a subject from the photo background. Not very Apple of them. How about nifty lifty? How about no, but Apple is getting really good at identifying objects in the foreground of images, which allows them to do this next cool feature. It's called depth effect, but that isn't the secret. Apple made a big deal about lock screens when they announced iOS 16. With depth effect, you can put photos in front of the clock. But there are two things they didn't tell you. First of all, it doesn't work for every image, and secondly, it doesn't work if there are any widgets on your lock screen. Well, David, you can't have your cake and widget too. The best way to find out if an image works with depth effect is just to try it out and see what happens. Once you find an image that works, you can turn depth effect on or off. Check out our lock screen customization video to learn more. Tired of coming across like a crazy person because you're sending emails at 3 a.m.? Look like an early riser with this next tip. If you've written an email and don't want to send it right away, you can press and hold on the send button and schedule the delivery for later. Now your boss thinks you've got it together, but you could take it one step further and look like a genius too. Your iPhone can quickly convert weights, measurements, and currencies. To what? Other weights, measurements, ignore him. If you highlight something like 195 pounds and tap the right button a few times, you'll see the conversions. But what's even cooler is that the camera app can calculate currency values for you. Does all I vu un dozer? Oui. $20 for an ice cream, are you kidding me? This next tip is an iOS 16.1 secret, which makes it 0.1 better than the rest. Let's open up the settings app, scroll down, and tap phone, then scroll down to call blocking and identification, 
and we've got this new business ID switch. When this is on, your carrier will show you verified caller information to help you tell spam calls from calls you actually want to receive. I actually got a call recently from the dentist and it showed up as hospital as the caller ID, which is pretty cool. Helped me decide that it was actually a call I wanted to receive and not some spam spoofed number. You go to the hospital to see your dentist? If you don't see business ID, it's not extra secret or anything. It's just that your carrier hasn't enabled this feature yet. And for more tips about how to block spam on your iPhone, check out our video about that. Apple just released the AirPods Pro 2 and there's a whole new section of settings that will help you customize your listening experience. Connect your AirPods Pro to your iPhone and open up settings. At the top of the screen, you'll see a new dedicated section of settings. You can change the name of your AirPods, customize touch controls, switch between listening modes and more. This secret section of settings appears when you connect any model AirPods or newer Beats earbuds to your iPhone. Look how many I have. It used to be that Face ID only worked in portrait mode, and now it works in landscape mode too. What a relief, no more stiff necks. Speaking of Face ID, let's talk about how to keep your notes private. Yeah, let's open up the settings app and scroll down to notes. Then tap password and choose either iCloud or on my iPhone. And then turn on the switch next to use Face ID. Now your notes will be protected with Face ID, not just the password you'll enter and then forget. You'll have to enter your notes password if you've set one up before. I forgot mine, took me a couple of tries. Now your secrets are secreter. Next up, a big secret about the iPhone 14 Pro's Pro camera system. If you have an iPhone 14 Pro, you probably didn't know that the only way to take advantage of the new 48 megapixel sensor is to use ProRAW. ProRAW photos are amazingly detailed. They are much sharper than the 12 megapixel photos that you take by default on your iPhone. The problem with ProRAW files is that they can be 20 times bigger than an average photo. That's for two main reasons. Yes, they're four times sharper, but the real reason is that unlike regular photos, they're uncompressed. Fortunately, there's a secret way to compress those giant raw photos after the fact using the Shortcuts app. You can download our nifty shortcut in the section below the subscribe button, but let us show you how it works before you do. When you take raw photos, they wind up in a raw photos album. You might need to tap back to albums in the upper left-hand corner of the screen, scroll down to media types and tap on raw. Our shortcut takes these giant raw images and converts them into JPEGs that are compressed and about 10 times smaller than the originals. To use the shortcut, open the raw album and tap select in the upper right hand corner of the screen. Tap on the picture you want to compress, then tap share. Scroll down and look for the compress image shortcut. Tap on that and compress image, done. Tap the X in the upper right hand corner of the screen, then tap cancel in the upper right hand corner of the screen, and then tap back to albums. Scroll up and tap see all next to my albums, and then scroll down to this compressed album. And here's our compressed photo. It is 19.1 megabytes, which is about nine times smaller than the full raw image. Once you're sure your compressed image is there, you can delete that raw photo. The drawback to compressing your photos like this is that you'll lose the ability to edit the brightest and darkest parts of a photo. But you'll still have a nice 48 megapixel, super sharp image that won't take up nearly as much storage space on your iPhone. From Pro Raw to end call, Next up, a secret that will keep you from accidentally hanging up on your friends. In the settings app, scroll down and tap on accessibility, then tap touch and scroll down to this prevent lock to end call switch, turn that on. When this is on, your iPhone won't hang up on phone calls when you lock it. I love this feature, especially with CarPlay. I have a habit of just locking the screen immediately, hangs up calls, why? I don't know, but this fixes that problem because for me. Because you don't want to get distracted. Well, that's no longer a problem. To learn more about iOS 16, check out our new video about all the settings you need to turn off immediately. That's appearing on the screen now. Give it a watch.